Hello, everyone. How are you doing today? Hopefully, everyone's having a lovely day. Look at Yuri. Yuri's back in his old, uh, clothing. thing. I wonder what they were thinking, building a big manor out in the middle of nowhere like this. Isn't it obvious? Crooked plots and intrigue. We should hurry and finish what we need to do before we get caught up in anything. That's not so bad here, Estelle. Why not take our time and get the full tour? Are you thinking of exposing some crooked plots and intrigue while we're here? Nah, I wasn't thinking about any of that. Being in someone's home is just so relaxing is all. I can't believe you. We don't have time for this. We're going on ahead, old man. But no, no, wait for me! So, here's the plan, guys. We're going to go through this house, we're gonna save the dawn, and then we're gonna leave. And then we'll get Carol back. Carol's not with us, can you believe it? But Patty's here. Oh, and what's her name left too? Judith? Everyone's leaving. Everyone's leaving the group. What am I gonna do? Probably just keep everyone here who's left. Oh god! Aw, oh, darn it. Get ready. Alright, let's down. go. I gave Yuri a new sword, by the way. That's all I'll say about that. That's all I'll say. Yuri has a new sword. Alright. These guys are a little little bit of annoying, are they? A little bit annoying. Oh, don't block. Come on! Die! I don't know what's going to happen after we rescue the Dawn. Last time was crazy. Absolutely crazy. We're done. But we're going to have a fun time today. Is my chat room? Yes. Yeah, yes. Ah! Immediately, immediately ran into a guy. Gosh darn it. That was a good, a lot of good misses there. Hey buddy, how you doing? <laughs> how you doing buddy? What's up? What's up Estelle, you healing everyone? That's fine. Yeah, last time... Last time was rough, I'll say that much. Poor Rapide. Well, poor Estelle. Repeat, stop being mean to poor Estelle. <gasps> Apple gel? Whoa! I went through two fights just for an apple gel? That's amazing. But wait, it's this room. That's the good one. Told ya. Shark's tail. Is that for you, young lady? Yes. Oh no, it's weaker. It's actually weaker. Appears to be a knife used by Leviathan's Claw. Skills are those two. Cool. Anything else? Secrets? Nah, no secrets. Sad to say, but there's one more over here. And in here is the, the legendary, the Pacnia bottle. I guess we'll fight. Oh, crap. Doesn't really hurt that much. <laughs> it just changes, uh... Oh, wait. Oh, no. I was confused for a second. I was like, why is... Why are there, uh... Why are there HPs and <laughs> TPs maximum again? It's because they haven't fought yet today. No, their HPs and stuff are going down. Did you see that guy? He was running and crossbowing at the same time. Hey, that was a nice break from things. Thanks. Oh, I forgot. Yuri is back in his old clothes. Estella's back in her waitress uniform, I think. Uh, Raven. Raven is Van from Tales of the Abyss, and I love it. And Patty. I don't know what Patty is. A little schoolgirl, maybe. I don't know. 
Who else? Rapide is back in his. Rapide is in his first special clothing. What's Rita in again? I don't remember. Uh, her cat waitress uniform. Good. Cool stuff. Lots of good clothing choices today. And we'll change Carol's clothing as soon as uh, I get him again. Gotta be sneaky. Ah! Prepare to meet your doom. Gotta be sneaky, he says, as he charges right into a a thing of four people. Oh, he was doing my move. You were doing my move, buddy. You cheater! Can't do that. Yeah, 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 yeah. Here we go. That's what happens when I get serious. Finish that one. There we go. We did it. Now, oh, did I? Oh shoot, did I go in here already? I think I did. Yeah, I did. Uh oh, is the guy waiting for me? Nah, go up. Woo, close one. Here's this already. Gothic guard, ooh. Do I have Gothic guard? Someone else has it. Oh no, she has something stronger. She has something stronger, so never mind on that. We'll destroy them in no time. Okay, get up. Get up. Get up. Darn it. I was hoping to hit, uh, to hit both of them there. No can do. Right, there's one more left. Just attack normally, alright? There you go. There you go. Resaldo cry of victory! Aru! Oh! <gasps> Ruby Wand. Ooh. Is that for you? No. Is that for... Actually, it's for you. Uh, magic attack goes up. Yeah, we'll do the magic attack. Do a little savey save. Run past that guy. We are gaining HP very, very slowly, but we are. Ah, oh, darn it. I was hoping there'd be things in here. Alright, three, three guys. Get, get. Oh, look at that. Did I do that? Did I make like a whirlwind? Come on, run! Ow, 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 stop. Let me get my TP back up. Ooh, you stopped her. <gasps> Altered Art! Nightingale. Ooh. I like Nightingale. That's what happens when I get serious. I like Nightingale, guys. Did you see how much there is there's some writing carved into the underside of the shelf. I can just make it out. Why do we have to wear hoods and coats while gotch and droids wear short skirts? We get so clammy and hot, we're burning up, our goggles are steaming, oh, oh, what a world. Sheesh. These poor guys, I guess? I don't know, I don't really feel that sorry for him. Ah, darn it. Prepare to meet your doom. Yeah, yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah, yeah. Oh, well. Well, I'm gonna put these guys out of their misery, so, you know, they don't have to suffer anymore. They don't have to suffer, they don't have to deal with their... 
their uh, masks and their clothes. They can just live. Live their days in solitude and doom. Yeah. Prepare to meet your doom. Oh, darn it. I thought there was uh, just two people here. Oh well, it's fine. No, stop it. Hey, Pia Makaro, be back in 30 minutes? No problem. Oh, I won't be, I won't be too lonely. I won't be too lonely. <laughs> Dude, bro. Okay, let's go. Yeah, I feel. I feel marvelous. <gasps> Crimson axe. I'm gonna assume that's for our young user of axes. Yeah. Soon as Carol comes back, I'll I'll give that to him. Unless, of course, it's not strong enough, or it's not as strong as the other weapon he has. Limit bottle can't take it. Cause I already bought the maximum amount. Thanks to the battle yesterday. Stone Slasher, I will take that. Uh, magic attack goes a lot down, but Stone Slasher, like really, or er, attack goes increases a lot. No, I don't want to fight you though. I don't Let's want to. Them. I gotta fight another guy after this one. Man, repeat. You better do a lot of damage here. I gave you a okay. These guys are being extra annoying now. Azure! Urgh. Heal me! Don't heal Estelle! We're done. Alright, free to explore the rest of the room. Ready to find the secret. Nothing. To find the secret, not nothing. Ah, oh, darn it! Why can't there be Let's a lock on? Them. And there's four of them. You know what? Guess what? I'm done. No, don't make her use it! Ah, darn it. Don't make her use it! Too late. Goodbye. Sucker. Are we fighting these two? I never dreamed you'd try anything this risky. This risky. I finally made up my mind that this mud ball would be a much prettier place without you on it. The other master guilds surely won't like you ignoring the union's laws for your personal vendetta. And I'll face the consequences. But it's daybreak now. Looks like I've underestimated you, touch. I'm out of time. If I don't get myself back to Dongress, those fools gonna start a war with each other. Oh, I think it's a bit late to prevent that little accident from happening. A couple of eggs might have to be broken, but I'm prepared to pay a price. A price? Dang. You still got us to deal with, Jaeger. Well, it looks like the tide's taken a turn. Yeah, indeed. Bye-bye. <laughs> hey, wait! Oh, they all jumped Damn, out. That guy's a regular vanishing act. They're all escaping. Now, what's with all of you? Just how you figure coming down here be the smart thing to do? Hmm. Who's that little kid? I ain't no little kid. I'm Patty. I'm sorry about that. Patty, huh? Why don't you come over here and show me your face? Uh-oh. Maybe she he won't recognize her because she's wearing a different outfit. Now this is a surprise. Huh? You're a dead ringer for Eifried. The very spitting image. Huh? 
Then it really is true that Patty is Eifried's granddaughter? Granddaughter? You're his... Hmm. <laughs> I never heard nothing about that scoundrel having a granddaughter. Huh. So Patty's guess was right on the mark. As his relative, I bet you must have suffered quite a bit over Eifried's infamous incident. I've got my own reasons for following Eifried's trail. I thought that since you were his friend, Don, you might know something. <laughs> It'd be an exaggeration to say that we were ever friends. He just did whatever he wanted to do. I never knew where he was or what he was doing. And I ain't got a clue about that now, either. I see. Haven't you met him somewhere recently? Hmm. Have I? Can't rightly say. This is a keepsake left by an ally of yours. We were asked to bring it to you. <sighs> Looks like I caused you all some trouble. A little. Of all the... Why'd she have to wind up like this? Oh, yeah. That's the, uh, the big thing we fought. Just what is an apatheia, anyway? Well, you see... I'm afraid I don't have time to explain it now. I uh, hate to cut and run, but I'll leave the rest of these guys to you. Wait. We should think about getting out of here, too. Hey, let me try and buy the old man some time. You got this, Van. I mean, Raven. Raven. Come on. Guess we'd better. Here we go. Get ready. I'm taking you down. There's four of them. That means I can go all out this time. Oh my god. Stop, 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 stop. This guy. Oh no. Estelle is out. Out of TP. No more healings will happen. I repeat, no more healings will happen. I meant to do that. I meant to do absolutely nothing. Ooh, that was cool. So that confirms that it doesn't matter, like, what color it is. I am not gonna let them kill the Dawn. They won't. I think it's about time. I agree. Out the window we go. From up here? What about Patty? I got a bad feeling about this. We should get back to Dongris. See ya, suckers! I'm the spitting image of Eifried. Not the picture I had in my head. Indeed. I thought he'd be an imposing figure like Don. I'm all muddled. I need to ask Don for more details. Don for more details. We'll see. We'll see if you are related, Patty. I forgot this is gonna be the last uh, trail stream or tail stream for a while again. Because tomorrow is the other. Uh, not tomorrow. Tomorrow's Splatoon 2. But Sunday will be the other visual novel I want to stream. Will it be good? Will it be bad? I don't know. I am going to play it, though, to its completion. We'll have to experience what kind of thing it is for ourselves, and then we'll never play a visual novel during the night again. Hey, Carol. The Union and Polistroli are squaring off against each other with Hope Bone Blastia. Aw, oh, crud. The Dawn is back, but something's not right. So, he made it back in time. Looks like my hunch was right, though. What do you mean, your hunch? He's been planning for this to end in his death all along. Oh, no. What? Why would he want to do something like that? To set things right? Bellius died because of Harry's rash behavior. She's the Duce of Nordopolica. You can't just say, sorry, I got some bad information. Which means there's gotta be compensation to make up for losing Bellius. So the price Don mentioned back at the Manor of the Wicked was... His own life. Once he made up his mind to sacrifice himself, taking down Jaeger wasn't a problem. 
even if it meant going against the laws. No, he can't do that! There has to be some other way. Both sides are at the breaking point, though. This thing could go off at the drop of a hat. And if it starts, it'll mean all-out war between the Union and Polistrale. Not sure we have the time to find some other way. <sighs> I'm going with Carol. All right, let's get, let's change uh, Carol's costume now. Never mind. You know what? Let's just not. Let's just not do anything. Uh, but let's save and sleep at the inn first, for sure. Don't even worry about it. Just checking again. You never know. Maybe we got some new things. Brand new? No. Nope. Oh, look at this. Ooh, new sword for for her. But let's let's chill out. Chill out for a bit. Chill out. Chill. Chill. Grand Scepter, Ruby Wand. Oh. Ooh, oh darn it. I thought there was like a really tough thing for for her there. There's a lot of tough things for him. Transform bow. Yeah, sure. Why not? Why not? Uh, Alright, Raven, or Van, or whatever you want to call yourself. There you go. Let's sleep at the inn. Never mind. Let's save the game. Saving savings for pansies. Not saving sleeping. Sleeping's for pansies. Everyone knows this. Alright, what's going on? Break it up. Hang in there, kid. You're a boss now, right? But it's like there's nothing I can do on my own. So then ask for help. That's what friends are for, right? Don! Take good care of them. They'll be there whenever you need them. <sighs> I'm coming with you. Like hell you are! Whack. Well, old man, it's been fun. Raven. You better nail Jaeger for me. <laughs> That's a heavy load for somebody like me. You're the only one I can ask. White Horse. Little lady, try going underground to the storeroom in the city's tavern. Mm. There's a wall there inscribed with Eifried's name. If you're his granddaughter, it ain't a bad idea to take a glimpse at the kind of things he did and how he lived. <sighs> We're so grateful for everything your darling grandson's done to us. Really. The boy has made a mess of things. He may be my idiot grandson, but he's also a full member of the Union. And it falls upon any leader to take responsibility for the mistakes of their people. So say the laws. Take me, then. Let my head atone for Bellius. Don. Idiot. These guilds. They're all filled with nutcases. Save. Or is he gonna commit? So, who's gonna be my second? Second person to die with him? It would be my honor. Oh. Okay. Guess the game's just gonna end right here. Guess you're stuck doing a job nobody much wants. Or is he the one killing him? You too. <laughs> no kidding. Yuri, I was looking forward to watching you go places. <laughs> I'll make sure to save you a spot in hell. I don't think they led me into the hell you're going to. <laughs> I won't forget that attitude, boy. And I won't forget your resolve, Don Whitehorse. Gone! <sighs> Listen up. You all gotta stand on your own two feet from here on. There's a new age coming, so get out there and make it for yourselves. I'm not gonna like this at all. No. Yep. God damn it! We saved the dawn, and now he's dead. Everyone here seems to have calmed down. Feels more like they're expecting the end of the world. Carol's been... Taking the Dawn's passing pretty hard, too. And it looks like things are keeping the old man busy. I guess it comes with being a member of Altosk. 
Huh. I haven't seen Patty for a while now. She might be in the sewer tunnels. Oh, right. That's what the Don was talking about. He gave up his own life to make amends for what happened. The guilds take their laws pretty seriously. The pride of living by the laws of the guild? Taking responsibility. Accepting the choices he'd made. The Don practiced what he preached. And he was willing to stake his life on those beliefs. Responsibility. Choices. I've got to get these things figured out myself. Best to start with our guild. With Brave Vesperia. Oh, man. Yuri? Where are you? Just going for a walk. He probably went looking for Carol. Carol. Poor Carol. All right. Now my hands have killed someone I never wanted to kill. Don, that feeling still hasn't left my hands. You really were a piece of work, old man. Would we say that's the third person? But then again, Yuri didn't want to kill the, the Don. Uh, oh, yeah, what? My guild here is about to protecting rabbits. It's the bunny guild. I want you to help spread the word about my guild. If there's nothing to it, I'll give you this badge. You're gonna be famous with this. Hmm, to put it simply, just collect a lot of titles. The more titles you earn, the more well-known my guild becomes. I'll give you a nice reward and my guild gets more famous. What do you think? Not too bad a deal, eh? You got all of that? Fantastic. Now go and let the world know about the spectacular guild. I almost forgot. Here's your badge and a little something for your efforts. Ooh, girly bunny ears and bunny guild badge. I'm counting on ya. Collect lots of titles. Cool. The real question is who is going to get the the bunny ears? You ain't going any further. All right, fine, I won't. Shut your hole and leave me be. <laughs> Does he even know, like, what's going on? Does he even know? Hey, Starkness, bunny ears, you're right. I got bunny ears. Welcome to the stream, how are you doing? If only we were a little stronger, the Don wouldn't have had to die. What's going to happen to the Union with the Don gone? I don't know. I don't know, man. So what have you been up to? I see that you uh, followed me recently. Thank you for that. I think you already followed me, though. If you didn't, and I'm mistaken, then thanks again. And just thanks anyway. I'll never forget that. For as long as I... Hey, Carol! Yuri... I... There wasn't anything I could do. The Dawn... And all the rest of you, you'd all made up your minds and did what you could. Nobody in this town's gonna listen to anything I've got to say. So I was thinking I should try talking with Paula Strale instead. But they might be done talking, and just attack anyway. When I thought that, I... I was too scared to go alone. So I ended up not going at all. I'm not good for anything. What about Judy? Weren't you gonna look for her? I can't. I can't go with you anymore, Yuri. I'm just not cut out to be the boss of a guild. Is that it, then? Is that all guilds and brave Vesperia mean to you? Just walking away from the dream like that? But I wanted to be the best guild! To be useful to the Dawn! For him to notice me! He's been a role model for me, and now he's not around. So you're just gonna pack it up and quit? Just what was it the Dawn died for? You, of all people, should know the answer to that. You can always do everything you want, Yuri! You'd never understand how I feel! I'm not tough like you! There's no way I can be like you in the Dawn! It's over! Our guild is... Carol! Don't you remember all the Dawn told you? Alright, thanks, Mike. Thank you, Mike, for uh, messing up. Beat the kid? No, I can't beat a kid. My stream would get flagged. If I wasn't streaming, of course, then. <laughs> yeah. Did you forget his resolve? 
As a member of our guild, I'm going to Mount Temza to find Judy. Huh? Ray Vesperia will go on. Even if you don't, this guild is more than just you now. It's time to put up or shut up. Get those sob sobs out of there. I don't want to run away. I don't want to, but... But you do. You secretly do. Carol has earned the Troubled One title. Come on. Come back. Alright, fine. Goodbye. Uh, I guess we are free to go somewhere else now. I don't know if you heard me, Ish Darkness, before the mic cut out, but I hope you're having a good day today. Hope you did fun things, exciting things. I hope you played Life is Strange like I did and got the good endings and went the wrong ways in this game. Have you seen this game before? This is Tales of Vesperia, the definitive edition. And it is a very, very long, but very, very good game. This is the second of the Tales games that I've played, and I'm quite enjoying it. It's still not as good as the, as the first one I played, but it's better than a lot of... You passed out after watching me play Life is Strange. Oh my gosh. Do you remember what you last saw? Like, what was your last memory before you conked it? Where am I going? Where am I even going, guys? Charles. Stop playing Splatoon 2 and help me find out where to go next. There he is. they are. Carol, do you think he'll be alright? He'll be fine. But... Well now, if it isn't the darling boy and girl. How very nice to see you both. Oh no! Jaeger! You've got some nerve showing your face after planting the seeds of war. Seeds of war? I'm quite sure I don't know what you're talking about. When William died and Max left the recording saying bye. So you passed out at the very end then. Attacking Palestrale is a matter for the Union to decide. I'm sorry, Ish Darkness, but you missed the credits of Life is Strange. I am so, I am so sorry. Yep, that's right. We just helped inform their decision. <laughs> exactly. Understand, my little friends? I'll give you something to smile about. That's enough for today, I think. It is the day of the dawn's passing, after all. We're still in mourning, you see. The world lost a great man today. It most certainly did. What is it you guys are after? Get the dawn out of the way to take control of the Union? Oh, no, 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 no. Our little business will most surely be easier without the poor dawn around, but... Ah, uh, let's not go there. I've come today for my own personal reasons. Where did those flowers come from? I don't want to disgrace the Dawn by doing something I'll regret later. You should leave before I change my mind. It is not only you who are mourning this death, you know. Be seeing you then. Even Jaeger is mourning the Dawn. That's a bad guy, if you didn't know. I don't understand. Hadn't he been trying to get rid of Dawn Whitehorse himself? The old man was a nuisance to Leviathan's Claw, but... Maybe things were a little different for Jaeger on a personal level. You mean like the difference between guilds and individuals? Yeah. To the Dawn, there was Jaeger the boss and Jaeger the person. The Dawn did break his own laws and take the fight into his own hands. Well, we should be on our way. Uh, all right. I told Rita we would be meeting her at the town exit. I also left a message at the inn for Patty. I said he'll be fine. Let's go. Heal? What do you mean, heal? Patty's not a guy. Oh, you mean Carol. He'll be fine. He's a big boy. Where are Carol and Patty? 
What is the deal with everyone worrying so much? What are both of your plans after this? I'm going with you, of course. Like I said, I've decided to stick with you guys while I research the air credit. Right, right. I want to go with you as well, Yuri. Now that we know the hunting blades are out to get Judith, we've got to try and help her. We're not obligated to do anything for her. Judith shared in our travels. She's one of us. She also destroyed the Ceres Blastia on the ship. But... I'm not going out on any mercy mission. I told you I need to set things straight, right? Yuri... What does Judy know? What doesn't she know? I'm gonna see that she comes clean about all of it. I have to. To find out where this guild stands. Well, we might just end up saving her along the way. You two are worried about her. I knew it. What are you talking about? We might, is all I said. Anyway, with all this talk about setting the guild straight, is the fearless leader himself gonna come? It'll take more than this to keep him down. He'll come. Oh, Patty's here. There he is. Wait, no, that's Patty. Did you have a look at what your grandpa left behind? I, I engraved it all firmly in my memory. So did it help you remember anything? Mm, it doesn't look like things are gonna go quite so well. But I can't let myself get discouraged by something like that. Yeah, that's right. Is it okay for me to be with you guys a little longer? I don't mind. Okay, let's go. What should we do about Raven? He couldn't come now. He can't turn his back on this town. They lost the Dawn. You're probably right. The old man has his own agenda to take care of. I'm gonna miss him. Eh, think who you're talking about. That guy might just pop up when you least expect it. So where is this Mount Temza anyway? My guess is that it's somewhere north of the sands of Kogor. She mentioned something about living with Baul on a mountain to the north of a desert. There certainly are plenty of mountains in the northern regions of Desire. Well, let's start there and see where it takes us. We'll be going to Desire by ship. Looks like that's where I come in. All right, let's head to the ship. No Carol? No Carol? There's Patty on the ship. Repeats controlling the ship. We're waiting here. Ha uh ha -huh. Carol. Carol. There he is. Wait. I'm going with you. I might not fully understand the things the Dawn wanted to tell me yet, but Brave Vesperia is my <laughs> no, our guild. So so I've got to come with you guys. Carol, I think if I ran away, if I abandoned my friends, that'd be the end. That's why, that's why I've got to go. Please let me come too. Of course. <laughs> You're the boss of this outfit, Captain. Yuri, thanks. But don't <clears throat> call me boss anymore. Hmm? I, I haven't done anything to earn that title yet. Until you really think I'm a boss. Until I don't feel embarrassed when someone calls me boss, I'll just do my part as a fellow member of Brave Vesperia. Understood, Carol. Not a bad plan. All right! It never ends with these guilds. Bunch of hot-headed idiots. That's exactly what's so good about the guilds, I think. Hmm, yeah. Quite juvenile, isn't it? <laughs> There's Raven. Ah! Hey, old man! Ma! <laughs> How glorious is youth! What are you up to? Huh? Something wrong with my being here? There was a part of me that was hoping that we wouldn't see Raven for the rest of the stream. And then the next stream, I would be like, Oh my god, it's Van! Van's here! And then I remember, oh no, it's just Raven. Well, don't you have your hands full with the Dawn's passing and everything? You know, it all just seemed a little too bothersome, so I ducked out. But you owe a lot to the Dawn. Aren't you sad? Sad? I cried and cried till my throat was hoarse and there wasn't a tear left in me. Funny. It doesn't show on you at all. Huh. <laughs> so not even Raven the Great can bear to ignore the Dawn's parting words. What are you talking about? You heard me, didn't you? That burden's too heavy for this beast. 
I'm sure they'll be able to take care of that piece of business just fine without me. All right, we'll leave it at that. Oh, man, these kids today, I tell you. Traveling in a group is loads of fun. It's so lively. This isn't lively, it's rowdy. Didn't I tell you that before? So now we can depart for Desier, right? Huh? Why are we going back there? That's a pretty good hunch you had there. Mount Thames is north of the Sands of Kagor. There's a Critian city there, if memory serves. And why would you know something like that? Well, I'm over twice your age, so of course I know twice as many things. Right. The all-knowing raven. So are we going, or aren't we? Can we get to the north of Kagor by boat? Guess we'll have to see when we get there. Hoist the sails! The Fiertia is off to sea! Woo! Reunited with Carol and Raven! Alright, uh, hang on. So, Carol told us not to call him Boss until he looks and acts like a boss. But, do you think he'll look like a boss after I do this? Uh oh. Gosh darn it. Oh well. Kill everyone? I'll kill all the enemies I see, that's for sure. Alright, time to serve up some orders! Serve up some orders? Uh, it's just that wearing this puts me in the mood to be serving customers. You know, those clothes make you look a little more macho than usual, kid. <laughs> really? <laughs> you think so? So, I guess that means Carol will be cooking dinner tonight. Wait, you were supposed to cook tonight, Raven? Hold on! I, I mean, hey! You heard the man, Carol. All right. Well, don't worry, it's darkness. Carol's cooking tonight. He'll probably poison the dish, so we'll all be dead anyway. Yay! I guess we're going this way. Ugh, this way. All right. The only desert is over there. See the desert there? That desert right there. See it? Got to go to that desert. Unless there's another desert that I haven't seen yet. Oh, oh geez, two things appeared. Wow, Rita, you look different than you usually do. You look cute. Are you saying I normally don't look cute? N no, that's not what I meant. Well, it's not like I care anyway. Hey, Yuri, you think she looks cute, right? Don't you? Huh? Yeah, I like those cat ears, I guess. Just the ears? Oh, come on, Yuri, why are you being so shy? Your face is turning red. The ears are the problem. What's that supposed to mean? So I guess... We're doing skits of the, uh... Of the costumes now. And I missed one. That stinks. That stinks! Oh, well, I'm sure... It'll hopefully appear again. I don't know. Every time I stand here, like, okay, I'm gonna start the stream, here we go, a skit appears. No, not this time. The game knows when I'm about to go live, so... Whoops. We might be able to be sneaky. And get to a thing over here. Like over there, see? Look at this. This is a beach, right? Look at this, this is, a, this is a thing. Oh no, this isn't a beach. This is the uh, the ocean. Or no, this is the sand place. North. Is it even here? Or is it over... I don't know, guys. I don't know. Maybe it's over here. If we... See, like, a cutscene thing over here? It means I'm going the right way. Gosh darn it! Let's eliminate them! <laughs> Look at this bird. Massive. Massive beak, everyone. Mahusive beak. Alright, let's take out these toads. Ow! Ow, 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 stop! I'll attack him normally. Dude! Bro. I'm gonna, I'm gonna put Carol back in the team. Our swords for freedom, our shield for friendship, 
Our lives for the common good. The Union Oak, huh? Do you suppose Eifried lived according to those words? Or did the wind blow differently? Well, the fact that Eifried's signature is on the oath is no simple twist of fortune. I. Well, we'll just have to take up the oath for Don and Eifried then, won't we? Well, Don, looks like the youth have picked up the torch you and Eifried once carried. Listen to the pirate girl. We'll be just fine. Uh, what was I gonna do? Oh yeah, I was gonna add Carol back into the team. Uh, switch, not Raven, switch Carol with Rapid. Sorry, Rapid. And, uh, let me try one more thing. Where is it? Never mind. What about you? <laughs> Kitty? Meow! Nope. Kitty does not work on her. You will have none. Not you. Maybe you. Bunny ears, bunny ears, girly bunny ears. There we go. That's That works good. And here we are. Welcome to Mount Temza. <gasps> These are human footprints, right? There sure are a lot of them. Could it be the hunting blades? That, or it might be the knights. But why would the knights be here? Well, Flynn was looking for Apathea too. If that's what the hunting blades are doing here, then the knights could be here for the same reason. Why is everyone scrambling to get their hands on Apathea all of a sudden? It was so pretty, all sparkly and glittery. I'm sure it's incredibly valuable. We never had the chance to get an explanation from the Dawn. If Judy will clue us in on what she knows, things might clear up. Judy, I wonder if she'll tell us. I don't know. It's up to her whether she'll talk or not. Of course, if she decides not to. Yuri! Hey! You guys, come look at this! This is crazy! What? What's up, kiddo? Ooh. Mount Temza. Or Mit Temza. Looks like a mountain. What the heck is this? The mountain's been... flattened. What could have happened? Is there really supposed to be a town here? Well, it was here ten years ago. That I'm sure of. But I can't vouch for what's happened since then. Ten years? That's quite a ways back. What were you doing way out here? Uh, well... That <gasps> voice! Is that you, freak? Here's hoping everything's alright. Let's hurry. Let's hurry indeed. Raven's idea. Don Whitehorse was a real man, wasn't he? Aye. I'm sure you felt the weight of that in your blade as his second. I'm sorry I made you shoulder that burden. It's alright. Unbelievable. Why would he accept that role? Do you think Yuri is really alright? He's not alright. But I imagine he'll be able to sort it out in his own mind. That lad's got real resolve. Resolve? Do you mean like with Rago and Kumor? Aye. Once he's made up his mind and taken up a task, he'll see it done no matter how heavy it is. It's an exhausting path, one this old man could never take. Hmm. You aren't alone in that. All folks like us can do is keep an eye on the lad as he does what he needs to. Sounds good. Let me leave really quick. I'm gonna quickly save the game, then go back in, and we'll have some, uh, we'll have some fun. Just Yuri? And now everyone's here but Judith. Alright. I guess there is no mountain. Unless that's the mountain over there, on the top right, I think. Or maybe we're just on the mountain. Yeah, it's all... Not very mountainy. It's even worse from up close. I've never seen a hole this big before. There's no way this could have happened naturally. It looks like something exploded here. An explosion? Are there monsters that can do something like this? They were. 
But those monsters were all wiped out. What do you mean, wiped out? What you see here, this was a battleground in the Great War. What? Really? So that means humans and Entelakea fought here. The humans were victorious, but there were scarcely any survivors. The facts behind the war are shrouded in darkness. Not even the official government histories give many details about what happened. So the Entelakea <laughs> did this to the mountains. Terrible power. The Great War. Ten years ago. That must have been when you were a baby, Patty. I... But this is the first time I've heard that a battle took place here. Which means Patty's at least... 11 or 10. The Empire's kept a pretty tight hold on information about it. Which means I'm... 28. Raven. He's the sitter, not Raven. Uh... Yuri. Cause he's, he's me. They've got a lot of secrets. You should know that by now. Thought it was strange that monsters would wage war against humans, but... What they didn't want us to know was that those monsters were actually into Achaia. You sure know a lot about this stuff, Raven. You come across a lot if you live long enough, kitties. He's smart. Okay, enough history lessons. We came here so we could look for Judy. The monster's voice we heard just now. What if they've already got Judith cornered? Judy's really strong. There's no way she'll go down easily. Of course not. Besides, I've got to give that dragon freak a beat down. I can't let a monster beat me to the punch. Oh, Rita. Yeah. Let's hurry. <clears throat> Man, the Great War. I mean, leaving a gaping hole where a mountain used to be. I still can't believe how much power the Antilochia must have had. How could the humans fight beings that powerful and not get demolished? I just don't get it. Indeed. The Great War may still hold secrets we haven't uncovered yet. And I'll bet those secrets are hidden somewhere in this mountain. Yeah, but the war's over now. It can't have anything to do with us, right? I hope so, but... But... But what? Look at this. Look at this. Growing Earth. Is that a... Uh, oh yeah, I got a, a new weapon for Carol, right? But it's not tough enough. Growing Earth, here we go. A knife card from Fragments of the Earth. It's more of a blunt object. And little... Little Patty will be wielding it. Because she's a very... Tough pirate, secretly. There's a thing over there. Red Sage increases maximum HP by 30. My gosh. Saffron increases agility by 1. Cool. I like it. We'll destroy them in no time. All right, let's see how tough. <laughs> Poor Carol. Poor Carol. That's all I can say, really. Just poor Carol. Wow, there's a big tree thing over there. What is this thing? That's what happens when I get serious. Like a stump. A big fat stump. Yeah, Carol will be clo clothless again. Which is kind of annoying, but oh well. That's how it goes. Man, could you be any weaker? Don't get cocky. So let's see. Gotta remember that there's up abilities too. Service Blast! Yeah! There we go. We <laughs> hit that one, kinda. I like Dragon Swarm. Dragon Swarm! Just volley of blows! We're done. I don't know what that thing was doing. It was walking around. That thing would rather have been scary stomping around than to actually attack me. Ha! <laughs> stunned him. Stunned him. You'll be gone soon enough. Doesn't matter, but we stunned him. Oh god, this thing sends bees at me? Did you see that? It's attacking me with bees. Don't do that. Knock it off. Oh, get up! 
Yes, healing circle. Give me that healing circle. Here I go. Come on, get up. There we go. I will just kill this guy. That's what happens when I get serious. Yeah, I feel good. It took forever. Wheeler Ern Gale, it's a strong move. Not really. But I'm happy that I learned it. I can't get over there. No, I definitely can't. I have a feeling I can move these rocks, but I can't do it yet with my current uh, thing. My current thingy. Hey, buddy. Yeah, my thing needs yeah, to be stronger. Be weaker? Don't let him trip you up. My thing was going right through him. He was ignoring it. He was ignoring my little, my little ring thing. What does it take so long for you to get up, Yuri? Oh, that was cool. Oh, 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 oh! Go, charge! Get the final one. Attack normally. Get our TP up. I don't know why that hurt. He's not wearing anything. I feel this power inside me. He doesn't have any like uh like armor behind him. Did he just learn an ability called coward? Coward! You just ignored me. This that guy ignored easy. me to the don't end. Let him oh trip God. You up. Uh, what's this? A mage, right? No, no game. I'm attacking her. Okay. Leave me alone, other people. Leave me alone. There we go. Remember this... That... That us... Strategy. Ooh, 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 ooh! Let's go. Uh, negative grade. Negative grade is rough. It's rough getting negative. Fine, I'll battle you too. Get ready. Down. Oh, there's two mages. Oh no. Bye bye. Get rid of this one. As fast as we can. Wait. Yeah, get get her. Get her. Get her. Get her. Yes. Stopped. Stopped her from doing anything. And we'll just attack this guy normally. Have some fun. You didn't think I was that strong, did? I got my uh, stuff back. Oh darn it! <laughs> there was a rock there. Great. I won't lose. I tried. I tried so hard to hit those guys. One hit. Interrupted. Alright, here we go. Here we go. Let's beat these big Velociraptor chicken things. Doesn't matter. Fully healed. Dude! Still with the tail. Let's beat this tadpole over here. Oof. Almost hit me. That's over. That's over. And now, my reward. A lemon gel. Thank goodness. It's okay. I don't even want my attacks to hit him. There we go. There we go. Oh. Yuri, what's the matter? I was just thinking about what Judy said. Vowel saved me during the war. I just realized that maybe she was talking about the Great War when she said that. So maybe she fought against the Empire with that dragon freak during the Great War? 
It'd be kind of sad if Judy was an enemy of mankind. Maybe Raven can tell us. You fought in the Great War, didn't you, old man? Huh? Why? I think only someone who was on the scene would know so much about the war. Really? But there weren't supposed to be very many survivors, right? Very true. I thought I was gonna die back then, too. Ah, uh, if only I'd died then. Things would have been so much easier, too. If only you died? What a weird thing to say. So, did you ever see Judith during the war? No, not a chance. I may be a player, but ten-year-old girls are definitely off-limits for me. Oh, jeez. Then it sounds like Judy didn't participate in the war. Right. I mean, if it was ten years ago, she'd be nine. That's even younger than me. Hmm. I feel like I never saw Ba'ul, either. Maybe they ran away from the battle? So it was really the Antelakea who fought in the battle? Yes, I guess so. Though at the time, we thought they were only a really terrible breed of monsters. But, wow! You were really in the war, huh, Raven? That's so cool! I thought only Imperial Knights fought in the war. Maybe I'll tell you more about it when you're older. It's gonna be a long ways off. And there's a stump block in my way. He's not gonna move. He's a, he's a little bit stuck. All right, I'll put him out of his misery. And here we go. He's joined by three little tadpoles, but that's fine. I know how to deal with them now. Oh, ah, oh stop it. Yeah, let's get rid of the tadpoles. Get rid of them. Stop doing that. Block. Ah! Ah! Oh no, Estelle doesn't have any... anything. Estelle has nothing! What are we gonna do? Gotta kill the stump the old-fashioned way. There we go, she got two Tiki back there. Three, four, yes, it's growing! Can we get more? Can we get five? Five TP! Five TP! Yeah, there we go. I don't think she's meant to have a lot of... The sign of victory! TP earning moves. Yeah, pretty... Item Pro. That's good. Oh god, these guys are everywhere. Get ready. I'm taking you down. Get ready! <laughs> Do, do, do. <laughs> Punched him. Punched him in the face. Almost. Come out. There Let's we go. go. All right. I think we did it. We are out of here. I'm just kidding. No, we're not. We have at least one more person to fight. Will there be more? Who knows? Are we equipping this thing, though? Yes, we are. Ooh, we stunned him at the last second. We got a head start. It doesn't seem fair. I like those types of battles where we just stun him. <laughs> Oh! Ah, darn it. Oh, that! Oh, that! Stell's earning a lot of TP now. Thanks to the, the battle victory. Watch. 56! Woo! Alright, let's keep going. We're almost there. We'll avoid her. She's just chilling there. Being good, not doing anything. Oh, I sense a boss. Maybe not. Is this the village? This is a Critian city. It was. More like the remains of one. There might be some treasure around here. What do you think Judith would come here for? Suppose it wouldn't make much sense to say she was feeling homesick. <sighs> Uh. Blades. 
Hey guys. Judith. What's up? Hey Judith. You. Damn you. Join up with us again. Go inform Tyson and Nan. Hey, nobody lays a hand on one of our own. If she's broken our laws, we'll settle this amongst ourselves. Now get out of here. We're only trying to follow a monster we're hunting. This doesn't involve you. Okay, this is getting us nowhere. Let me at him! You're right. It's just a waste of time trying to talk sense to people like this. Anyone who interrupts our conversation is going to be taking a long nap. Sheesh, Patty. Leave. Now. Or do you really want to do this? <laughs> okay. Sorry. Yes. You followed me here. Yeah, we're here to settle things for the sake of the guild. Judith, tell us everything you know. Why you destroyed the Blastia. About the Apatheia and the Entelikea, their relationship to Pharaoh. All of it. And even though you're one of us, your answers will decide your fate. Punish the unjust, was it? Honestly, I don't know if that's really a good thing or not. You've already come this far. I suppose there's no going back now. Come. Does that mean she's on my team? Got a chain. What did you mean about Judy's fate? Change her costume again, if uh. If there's one thing that Dawn's last moments taught me, it's that I've been too soft. If a part is infected, you cut it off before it infects the whole. Even if it's a comrade, an Antilochia, or a friend. You mean even if it's Flynn or Pharaoh? Yeah. It's the path I've chosen for myself. Rough. Rough stuff. I... You what? You what? The Hunting Blades again? We didn't just cross paths this time. We're after hey. the same thing. We just might have to fight. If it does come to that, you guys don't have to worry about me. But we can't keep Judith waiting. Let's go! Carol... Our boy's growing up. Yeah. Isn't there some way we can avoid fighting the Hunting Blades? I hope so. But it's pretty much up to them. Yep. Yes, P. Makaru, you missed it a long time ago. Sorry to say. Hey, EC bros. How you doing? How was your stream? Sorry I couldn't participate in the, the chatting. But I was busy at the moment. But still, I was there. I was in with you. Grand Scepter. Ooh. Yes. Wait, yes. Yes, indeed. Guess we're going this way. Oh, God. More? Let me go back first. Let me go back first. And let me check what was over here. The rubble spreads as far as the eye can see. The land was what's adjoined up to all of the way over here. So I can't even go this way. All right, fine. We'll fight all the f all the stuff. Yes, Pia Makaru is here. He just got here at the same time you did, actually. He was busy doing something shady, probably. He was busy doing some slim shady things. Trip you up. You see, bros, you should probably learn how to spell flows before you ask him if he needs clothes. But EC Bros has merch now. He has a, a hoodie and a shirt with his face on it. No, I'm joking. He has a hoodie, he has socks. That's what happens when I get serious. Finish that one. Which makes me wonder... You're almost there. That's cloths. C-L-O-T-H-E-S. You were close. 
Got that? This looks easy, guys. Stupidly easy. Uh, oh, 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 God, fire. So, P in the car, how was your day today? I asked DC Bros. He was great today. You are testing me. Oh, did I pass? I hope so. I'm not good at passing tests. Ultima corrects your spelling. Right. You, you, well, you, you, you messed up. Thanks, Pia Makaru. Thanks for that. Great. I heard stories of a Critian town, but I never knew where it was. Day Me was good. Too. Didn't expect it to be on Mount Temza. Good. They must really value their privacy to build a whole town on a mountain. Is there something they don't like doing in front of other folk? Critians are a secretive lot, to be sure. By the way, Pia Mikaru, Carol's wearing those clothes again. Well, when I say those clothes, I mean... You'll see. Sorry, but you're going bye-bye. Did he just throw a fish? Are you insane, Carol? Throwing fish at people now? Dude, bruh. Or sis, rather. Lack of clothes, yep. Nothing but a towel again. This? No, this isn't scary. Your legs are shaking. I feel this power inside me. Yep, he has some cloths. Some clothes. He has some clothes. Some closure. Ah, I can't get past him. I won't lose. Are the prices static, or did you decide them? Oh yeah. Oh god! Oh, these guys are annoying. Why well, am I attacking this guy? I gotta get rid of the mage. Mage, die! Yeah, he is throwing things. Oh, he threw, like, a, a thing. He threw, a, like, a fish and it exploded into, like, darkness. Oh no, someone's poisoned. Equipment... No. Skills... No. Arts... Yes. There we go. <gasps> Ooh, oh, a transform bow. I already bought a transform bow. Gosh darn it. Look at that. It's hidden. <laughs> and then the arts as well. I crafted that uh, sword too. Oh my god. Blah, gosh. All right, I don't need to fight you again. The hole in this mountain is like the hole in my heart. <sighs> How my chest aches. Getting all sentimental on us, old man? Nah, it's just memories of the war. I'd appreciate it if we didn't spend too much time here. Stop being such a coward. Oh, that hurts, Rita. The only way to get past a bad memory is to embrace it. Sounds like you're speaking from experience. Not really. I was just generalizing. Anyway, you want to hurry, right? Then let's go. Our little genius mage is more mature than she looks. Okay. I guess, yeah, this way. Look at that tadpole there. Can I sneak past her? Nah! <laughs> Gosh darn it. This enemy doesn't look so nice. Oh, we this must is gonna be, be tough, I bet. Dragon Upper! Gosh darn it. Oops. Ooh, look at, did you see that? He was outside the uh, the barrier thing. You are outside the you're outside the barrier right now. Get cheater. This guy's tough. He's not tough, but it's hard to, to break him. 
Alright, kill the chest. Kill the chest. Kill the chest. He's defending a lot. <laughs> he's just forever in chest form. Oh no, he's out. He's awake. God, how much HP does this guy have? There we go. Ow! Look at all the gold, the gald. Oh my gosh! It keeps on rising! What's going on? What? Okay, yep. This is a lot of. Wow. That's a lot of gald, guys. A uh, limit bottle. I don't have a limit bottle. Oh, I can't go that way. Pass you, shoot you, fight you. We do battle with all our might. You know what? No, I'm getting I'm getting tired of these battles. Later. Can I get past you? I just want to see what's up here. Nothing. There's nothing past there. Okay. Let's uh go. Tribal Guard. That's for... What's her name? Judith. Yeah, Pia Makaru left. He leaves sometimes. Especially when I needed him the most today. He just he just leaves. I know he's planning a revolt. He is. He's planning it. I'm ready. I'm ready, though. For any and all revolts. And you're the leader, you see, bros. So, Did you know that? You are aware that this place was the ground on which the Great War was fought. I'm joking. You guys are good. Anyway, let's get uh, Judith on our team. Yeah, we heard from the old man here. The Great War was sparked by a type of Blastia. What? This was not a Blastia that had been excavated. It had been constructed in the city of Temza using a new type of technology, the Hermes Blastia. Hermes Blastia? I've never heard of it. And if you say it was newly built... I didn't think you could make a new Blastia. The Hermes models were even more effective at converting air into energy. They were intended to... revolutionize the technology of Blastia. But something went wrong. Hang on a minute. Okay, we're good. The Blastia using these Hermes-type formulas required massive quantities of air. The air crina began producing abnormal amounts of air in order to compensate. That would mean the end. Not just of humanity, but all life on this planet! Just like we saw at Cave Mock and the Weasand of Kados. Wouldn't like to see that happen everywhere. The Entelakea realized <clears throat> the dangers of the Hermes Blastia before the humans and they moved to destroy them. Which created a conflict that grew until it eventually became the Great War. So then the Entelikea fought against the humans to help the planet? But why didn't they tell the humans how dangerous those Blastia were? Uh-oh, <laughs> look at Rita. Neither side probably cared much if the other brought itself to ruin. There's never been any love lost between humans and Entelikea. Probably didn't talk much. Or maybe there was another reason, but... What does any of this have to do with you, Judy? Temza fell to the flames of war, and the technology of the Hermes Blastia was believed lost. Wait! You mean there are still Hermes models in operation? Yes. At Rago's mansion, Emmet Hill, Gosforost, not to mention. The Ceres Blastia on the Fiertia. That new Ceres Blastia must have been a Hermes Blastia. So then you've been destroying the Blastia in place of the Entelikea. You could have mentioned that. Why didn't you say something? Were you gonna save the world all on your own? Are you stupid? Yes. Yes, I am. What was that? Baul. <laughs> Oh, oh. Oh no. Man! It looks like we found our mark. 
You will not pass. You're a person, aren't you? How can you defend a monster? Didn't you get the news? I said nobody lays a hand on one of our own. I got you, EC bros. We'll be here. We won't allow that. Not even from you, Nan. We were having a conversation over here, but out. I can't believe these guys. Such scallywags. I don't usually like to get my clothes dirty, but... Everyone. Have the Hunting Blades added people to their list of targets? Nobody who associates with monsters can rightly call themselves a person. Carol, have you forgotten the credo of the Hunting Blades? Step aside. Monsters are evil, and the Hunting Blades pursue that evil. But the Angelikea aren't evil. They were fighting to save the world. Don't let them fool you with that credo nonsense. They're on a job. They're here for the Apatheia. Huh. It seems you won't listen to reason if you have no intention of moving. You leave us no choice. Judith joined the party. Yay! Judith is not in your party. Please form a party with Judith as a member. You got it. But first off, well, we'll get Rita out of here, sadly. And, uh, before I forget, you are now. <laughs> this. You were 100% with Rita. Judith should have said something. Yeah, she should have. Even though Judith is, uh, or not Judith, Rita's kind of angry. Beth skin? Beth skin, yes it is. Alright. Let's go. Yeah, let's go. Let the battle begin! Final battle, Monsters everyone! That's the rule of the hunting blades! He's not a monster! He's Judas! I don't care what you think of monsters. I will protect Baul, even if it costs me my life. It's pretty stupid to think anything out of the ordinary is automatically evil. Aiding monsters Look at this. She's learning, uh, she's learning a lot of moves. hurting people for no reason? What are you talking about? Of course he would! We're worse than monsters. They just got instinct. You got brains. So what's your Really? Shut up! We hunting blades will not back down! So I guess we just gotta fight this out. Don't blame well, that me wasn't fun. Uh, 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 uh. Alright. No, stop. Stop that. Ah, uh, healed. Healed up. Heal me. Learn. <laughs> Learn. No, come on. Get up. Get up, get up, get up. Mystic art. Have you learned mystic art yet? I don't think so. No, darn it! Oh, stop! Stop doing damage! Alright, that guy's dead now. I think. Oh! Great! Wait, is that guy alive still? I thought I killed him. No, you were lying down like a lazy little... Blah. He'll explain that after the battle because you don't think you have access to it. Alright. Or maybe I do and I just haven't used one yet. I do know what Mystic Arts are. I just want to know how to do them. That's all. Dude, 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 dude. Oh, now you've got to done it. Great! Did he just get healed? Don't get healed. Don't do that. No, stop, 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 stop. God, even my TP is getting low. Dude, how much HP does this guy have? Oh! Go, go, go! Yes, got him! Uh, change strategy to full charge. And... Let's see... Magic lands! Really? Oh, really? Dude. <laughs> he had one HP left, guys. One HP. 
do you all know how painful that is? Yeah, laugh now, BMFR. Laugh now. Where are you running? Guess I overdid it a little. You don't show mercy to your enemies. I will protect Baiwul. Secret mission mission complete. Wow. Special flag. Ooh, a special flag. That's scythe. I'm not done yet. I did it. Everyone levels up. Everyone wins. Nan, I'm <clears throat> sorry. We're just knocked out. It's fine. Uh, wait. Hang on. Any more? I don't want there to be, but is there any stuff over here? Quick, 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 quick. Yes, good. Everblue. That's nice. Uh, you win. Cool. No! We have a great opening now. It's nothing personal. I'm gonna attack normally to get my my TP back up. You know my TP? I want my TP back up. Ooh 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 ooh. E a o a. Dude. Now she's poison. <laughs> now she's not poison. Okay, good. I got no time to think. Just beat him. Just beat him down. Senseless. All right, one more, and then that's it. They're wide open. Nothing but plot. Nothing but plot, ladies and gentlemen. Here I go. Gosh darn it. <laughs> Here we go. What, what? What's going on? Why am I getting hurt? You! Mystic arts require a skill called special. You know the story weapons have them time to wield the weapon. Special passively equipped. Enter level 3 over limit. Hold B during a high level art. Just like burst arts, but you hold B instead of A. My god. Another level of complicatedness. Here I go. The sign of victory. Yeah. All right. Huh? Feather. That coat. I think Judith deserves something new now. Never mind. I think Patty deserves something new now. Uh, yeah. The art you use to trigger the mystic art must actually hit the opponent. Oh, God. That's annoying. So what did I just get? Uh, special flag. Oh, it's I got this again. Huh. Interesting. I already had that, though. I wonder why I got it again. Oh well. There we go. Now that you know about Mystic Arts, literally every boss will have one. If you see a boss enter over limit, run. You got it. Uh oh. He's injured. What's happening? Oh, is he gonna die too? Baul is trying to evolve as an Intelakea. Oh, evolve. It looks like he's suffering. Baul, come on. You can do it. No. I want to heal your wounds, but there's nothing I can do. My power is poison to you, isn't it? Healing wounds isn't your power, Estelle. What do you mean? Don't you remember Bellius's words? Power corrupts. But you... You are different. Never lose that kindness. The compassion you so readily show to others. He is evolving. What's he gonna evolve into? Uh, Ba'ul-Laul? 
my compassion for others. Your thoughts are reaching Ba'ul, I'm sure of it. All we can do now is hope for the best. <laughs> Baul, evolve to Charizard. I would have given this game like a thousand points if it, it it's just a Charizard. Amazing. And this game turns into Pokemon. I knew you could do it. Your partner seems like he's gonna be just fine. Yes, thank you all for helping to protect him. Your bowel evolved into Antalexia. Yay! This is something I couldn't have done alone. You were <clears throat> us, of course we'd help. That's right. Oh, okay. He's big. He's a big boy now. Didn't I tell you? You got through to him. <laughs> you make it through to Pharaoh as well. Will you be going to meet him? That's up to Estelle to decide. I'll go. It's been the purpose of my journey, after all. Yes. I'm going to nickname him Draggy. Are you sure? What if you end up getting killed? Because he's a, a, a dragon, right? His name is Antalexia, right? I will name him Lexia. Even still, I've got to stand firm on this. It won't be too long before the Hunting Blades send reinforcements. How about a change in scenery before they show up and spoil the party? There's only one path down from here, though. We're bound to run into them. The skies are wide open above us. Oh, I gotta get Draggy for my PC box now. Gosh darn it. His name is still Ba'ul. Is the name of the race. Well, I know, I know it's the name of the race. I'm just calling him Alexia now. Have you lost your mind? Get on. We'll fly as far as the Fiertia. <gasps> I can fly on him? Hey, EC bros, I can fly on a dragon now, EC bros. Isn't that awesome? We can finish talking once we arrive. That's what your, new your merch needs, a dragon. What, you're saying dragons don't exist? Oh no, he's not a dragon, he's a whale. Fast travel. About time. Well, This is so very Xenoblade 2 right now. Judy. And Judy's dead. She's sleeping. She must be exhausted. Yeah, I mean, she just killed over. Wasn't expecting that. I bet she watched over Baul the entire time he was evolving. She probably didn't get much sleep. She probably had no idea when the hunting blades would attack either. Did anyone notice Estelle's new, uh, accessory? She was putting up a brave front, but she must have been near the end of her rope. She's just dumb. She doesn't know how to express what she's feeling. And I'm really glad we're able to help Judy out. We can finish talking with her tomorrow. We should let her sleep now. In fact, I wouldn't mind a little shut-eye myself. So where can we land? We still haven't heard Judy's side, so we can't say anything, but... Everywhere? She sure caused the guild a major headache, breaking Blastia's all on her own. There's no getting around that fact, no matter what her reasons. We have to settle this. Man, I hate waiting. Waiting is what gamers do. We just wait and wait and wait. How long am I streaming for? Maybe a half hour longer. Maybe longer if I'm enjoying life too much. Are you thinking about Judy? Yeah. I'm wondering what we should do about her. It's true that she broke the guild's laws and betrayed us. I always thought that a guild's strict adherence to its own laws was what kept it together. I wonder how cold it is right now. Like, we're really high above the Earth, right? 
and Carol's just wearing a towel. Is is he dead, guys? Is is Carol dead? That there could be no exceptions, no lenience for those who would break the laws. But she did what she did to save the world. Judy is destroying Blastia because she knows it's the right thing to do, even if it makes people hate her. Yep. Judith didn't break our laws in order to do something bad. I know this now. I'm gonna talk with her about it and give it some more thought. I'll figure this out eventually. Oh yeah? Maybe if I become a little more decisive, Nan will listen to me too. I heard young boys can actually produce their own body heat. So I think that's what Carol's doing now. Uh, EC Bros, is, is this true? I would answer, but Lord knows I was never warm during the winter. Oh, Yuri. Sorry to interrupt while you were thinking. Ever since I took Bellius's life without meaning to, I've wanted to know what it means to be the child of the full moon, so the same thing doesn't happen again. Everyone can produce their own body heat. I mean, uh, Carol can produce it like like 10 times a normal human being. I've always thought that it was my duty to know. That's what I meant. But after what happened to Bellius... That's how everyone is. They do something, they learn. They do something else, they learn more. You too, Yuri? Yeah. Maybe if I had known everything ahead of time, I wouldn't have made any mistakes. <sighs> There's only one thing I can say for sure. What's that? Maybe you wouldn't have made any mistakes. But it sure would have been boring. I really wonder. I wonder. Hey, Van. I mean, uh, Raven. So does an old man past his prime fit into the picture at all? What are you whining about, old man? Why are you past your prime? Hmm. What Judith was talking about before. Hermes Blastia, was it? Last year created with techniques that should have been lost in the war are still active. Do you know what this means? I guess someone who survived the war brought either Blastia or those techniques back with him. If that person was still using the Blastia even though he knew it was harmful to the Earth, someone like that would have to be quite the villain indeed. Old man, don't tell me you... Hey now, yours truly was nothing but an innocent youth on the straight and narrow back then. I wouldn't do something like that even on my worst day. <laughs> I was just trying to trick you into giving yourself away. You're a slippery one. Son of a... When are you gonna learn some respect for your elders? How do you like, uh, Raven's costume today? I, for one, like it a lot. Don't fall overboard. Oh, I'll be careful. Yuri, the world sure is big. Yeah. Even though we're flying this high in the air, we still can't see everything. If the world's this big, I guess it makes sense that there'd be so many things we don't know. It might not make that much of a difference whether I get my memories back or not. Are you saying you'd be okay with not getting them back? I'm saying that I'm not the only one who feels restless and anxious not knowing the truth. Everyone's worried about something. Even you and Estelle. You think so? Isn't that why everyone's here? Isn't that why Judy came back? And is that why you're here too? I don't want to be alone. You know, you're being pretty honest today. I'm always honest. Really? Well, maybe you are. You always are. Where's Rapide? Is he the last one I need to talk to? Let's go. Bedtime. You never have any idea what's happening or ever happens, you just come to talk and chat, and yeah, <laughs> that's good. You don't have to worry about it, it's a, it's a big game. Just know that we are in an airship, well not really an airship, we're in a ship, we're tied to a big whale, and we're flying over the world right now. Rita's a cat waitress. Is that the core from the Ceres Blastia that Judy destroyed? Yes, it's definitely cut with a different formula than the usual core. It looks like what she said was true. She said she wasn't too good at lying after all. 
to discover that the new technique you created was bad for the world after what must have been years of research. I can't imagine how the person who created the Hermes technique must have felt. Well, what if it had been you? If I found out that it hurt the Earth, I would have to do something about it. But I wouldn't destroy the Blastia like that. The next game I play, by the way, EC Bros, it's a lot easier to, to understand. So don't worry. Bad people are doing bad things with neutral things, and we the good people need to stop the bad people by less bad means. Exactly. That's the best way to sum it up. And the next game I play, that's not the... The visual novel I'm gonna read next week, is just... I am character... I do slash. What the? Nothing. Uh. Arr. If only things weren't so complicated, I could have just blasted her into oblivion and been done with it. Hmm. But that would have been too easy. Thank you. Woof. She's sound asleep. Let's let her sleep a bit longer. All right. Good night, everyone. Morning, Yuri. Morning. It's a beautiful morning, but even as we stand here, the air is out of balance, and our world may already be dying. <laughs> That's right. Well, crud. Judy! Wow, look who's feeling better. In the past, these slight fluctuations of the air have not negatively affected our world. There have always been beings who maintain the balance by sensing changes in the airflow. Beings like Pharaoh and Ba'ul, the Entelechea. Entelechea. I'm still calling her Lexia from now on, though. I don't care. I don't care. So the Entelechea were responsible for keeping the air balanced. For ages, the Entelechea have regulated the air. But the recent increase has been greater than they could control. Which is being caused by the Hermes Blastia. And which is also why you were going around taking down as many of them as you could. Yes, that was my mission. The path I walk with Ba'ul, to whom I owe my life. The path you walk? Now some would even hunt the Entelechea for Apatheia. This has made the mission of the Entelechea even more difficult. Why is everybody so crazy about these Apatheia anyway? I'm afraid I don't have an answer. The air an Entelechea absorbs becomes condensed within its body over time. When its life is at an end, that condensed air forms a crystal, an Apatheia. That's all I know. I imagine Pharaoh could shed more light on the subject, though. So Apatheia are crystals of concentrated air. If that's true and the energy could be extracted from the Apatheia, it would be a source of overwhelming power, I'm sure. Could we really do that? I... I don't know. But if that's possible, there must be tons of guys who want those things. I bet somebody wants to use these things for the wrong reasons. Why didn't you just tell us all this from the beginning? Seriously, we could have avoided all this trouble if you just talked to us. Am I wrong? Even if you had known, there are things not even you could have prevented. What do you mean? I showed up at Heliord because Ba'ul had sensed a disturbance in the air. Where there was a disturbance, there was sure to be a Hermes Blastia. But what I found there was not a Blastia. It was a person. That had never happened before. So it wasn't like you were looking for Estelle in particular back at Heliord. Yet for some reason, Ba'ul perceived Estelle as a disturbance in the air. I had to find out why. For the sake of the path I've chosen, it was at that time that Pharaoh first appeared. He seemed to have some idea who Estelle was. My mission was to destroy all the Hermes Blastia. However, Estelle was obviously not a Blastia. I needed to make absolutely certain. I made a deal with Pharaoh, and he agreed to grant me some time. You mean... If it became apparent that her existence posed too great a threat, then I... I would kill her. You what?! Wait! Rita! 
Settle down. Obviously, Judith reached a different conclusion. Chill out. All right, I get it. Bellius said you possess a heart of compassion. If you can communicate that to Pharaoh somehow, you may learn what you should do. H hey, there's no real reason for you to fight Pharaoh anymore, right? Hey, look. Rita's a cat, and Estelle's a rabbit. Ain't that awesome? We're still gonna kill her, right? No! Pia Makara, we can't kill Estelle! She's our only healer! I mean, we know the Hermes Blasti are what's causing the problem and everything. If we just make sure the Apatheia don't fall into the wrong hands... I still want to meet Pharaoh. I want to hear what he has to tell me. But... Please try to understand. I have to know more about myself and take responsibility for who I am. Alright. Sorry, Yuri. I don't think we can decide what to do about Judith right away. I promise not to leave again until things have been settled, as you said. I need to accept that responsibility myself. If you're talking about Judith, then... Meh. Not this time. I like your costume. Let's go and find Pharaoh. We'll finally be getting around to one of the first things we set out to do. We can work out the rest once this is finished. There is a rocky crag in the center of the sands of Kogor. That is where Pharaoh lives. Baul can take us there. Okay, let's go. This meeting's been a long time coming. Oh boy. Yes. Dude. I can communicate with Baul, but there are still a few things you should know. All right, what's the bad news? Like what? Baul can only land on the ground in wide, open spaces, so you won't be able to dismount on steep mountain ranges or in narrow canyons. Can't he land on water? Water's no good either. Really? He looks like he'd be a good swimmer. <laughs> yeah, he'd sink like a rock. Huh, who knew? But that's why we have a ship, right? Right. If you'd like to get down onto the ocean, let me know. Baul will set our ship down there for us. Okay, but what should we do when we want to fly again? Use Baul's horn to call him to you. Baul's... that's all there is to it? Every Intelakea has a special region in its brain that can be used for communication with a special power Critians possess. Huh. So we can get a hold of him by using that. Right. Alright. Sounds cool. Let's see. Ooh. Awesome. Judith, you're familiar with Pharaoh, aren't you? Is he really as scary as he seems? Well, let's see. Sometimes he's logical, sometimes he's emotional. He can be really scary or really kind. All right, that didn't help very much. One thing's certain, his power is extraordinary, even among the Intelakea. Here's hoping we don't wind up looking like poor old Mount Temza the moment we meet him. If he can do that to a mountain, there wouldn't be anything left if he turned on us. I wish you wouldn't joke about scary things like that. Why should we get scared before we even get there? Especially if he's that strong. Wish I could take it as lightly as you and Yuri. So before we continue, guys, I want to do something really quick. Don't mind me. Don't mind me. We can fly. I'm so happy we can fly. Guys. Do you know what I just did? Do you know what I just did? I flew around the world. And EC Bros sold two pieces of merch. Well done. Congrats. What did you sell? What were the pieces that you sold? Did you sell the the things <laughs> you brought you bought two peach pieces of your own merch oh Pia Mikaru you can do that to me but don't be so mean to my viewers 
These poor people already have to deal with watching me as it is. A shirt, a t-shirt, and a hoodie. You should sell your t-shirt shirts in blue, by the way. I don't know, when I think of you, I think blue for some reason. Maybe you wear blue clothes most of the time? I don't know. That's just me. Whenever I think of someone, I think of a color. So, where are we going exactly, guys? I was flying around a lot, but... Oh! I never imagined you'd be able to speak with the Entelikea. Well, I use a Critian technique to do it. Wait, do I detect a little jealousy? Mm, maybe. Right, Repeat? <clears throat> Yuri, you want to talk to Repeat? I think the two of you understand each other well enough already. I got him pretty well figured out, but I don't know if he understands me. I think he feels the same way. Well done, my boy. You did it. You should be proud. Are you proud? I should buy a mug. You should buy a mug. You should buy a thug. You should buy a bug. You should buy a... I don't know. Prepare to meet your doom. Oh, there's a big guy there. Oh god, there's a, these are bees. These are bees. Oh, and these are really strong too. Oh jeez. We're dying. We're dying. Wow. Hello everyone. Welcome to the land of... I'm not supposed to be here yet. Wow, first monster battle in these canyons. You want you to buy a thug? Sure. You can buy a thug if you want to. I wouldn't recommend it, but if you want to... Just buy a thug for the stream. Dude, Turtle is annoying. Thanks for healing me. You're a good guy. Good team members. Oh! What did that even do? I think that was like a reviving... Oof! Close. I'm just getting started. Wow, that's a lot of EXP. Definitely not supposed to be here yet. Pharaoh, Bellius, Baal? What sort of beings are Antelikea anyway? They are the oldest intelligent life forms on Terkalumarays. So, they aren't monsters? They aren't. It's said that they have a higher level of awareness than humans, though they don't have a civilization. Shiver me timbers! The Entelikea were smart! Oh look! The reports we get from Baul are there he is. accurate. He's a smart boy. <laughs> he has a, a, a picture now. That's great. Uh, how do I summon him? That's how I summon him. Okay. So, where am I going now, everyone? I was half paying attention to the spot where I gotta go next. And I was more thinking about, Oh my god, I'm flying on a big dragon thing! Oh my god, this is cool! Maybe here? Look at this new place! Wow, this is cool. I passed it when I went around the world. All right. I'm Goku, by the way. I can fly around the world. So, it's this way then. Is it in the desert? Somewhere in the desert on the bottom left. All right, so it's in the blacked out, blocked out area. Okay. Uh, 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 all right. Uh, wrong way. G uh, 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 good for me. Let me get this. Make sure I have all the... Just, just everything shown. Ah, <sighs> well guys. This is fun. And this makes it even worse that we won't be playing this for a couple more days again.
Whoops. What? Where are you? <laughs> How do I let him join me again? I forgot. Help! Help! What button do I press? I'm pressing it. I'm pressing every all the buttons. I'm pressing every. Ugh. Watch my back. I'm pressing every all the buttons, guys. Who's next? Push in on the You're left weak. stick. I did. You're whack. <laughs> like, I feel this power. Like thirty times. I have to be in an open area. That's something they, that they should have changed. Like, what if I'm in an open area, but like it's hard to get back to that open area. There's, it's like pixel perfect open. Just get good? I don't want to hear that. I don't even want to hear that. There's no getting good. This looks new. Look at this. We've never seen this before. That's just the main town, but it's new. Okay, I'm keeping the map up, guys. Keeping the map up. Because I want to see where the heck I'm going. Never mind, I'll see over here first. Clear away the stuff. Clear away the stuff. There's a cave there. Look. Guess what this is? What's this? Some sort of ruins, maybe? But it doesn't look like humans built anything here. Judy, do you know anything about this place? No. To me, it looks like it was formed naturally rather than by human hands. There's not anything here, from the looks of it. Well, let's have a look around at least. So what's this, I wonder? What could this be? Can't go that way yet. After beating the game, you still don't know what this is? Oh no. This would have been the good chance to... Like, have secret dungeons or something. Oh well. Yeah, it's okay. Just, uh, don't come, Whale. Don't get careless. Don't come. There's a lot of hidden content in the game. Yeah. That was a nice little break. Just like in Tales of the Z Abyss. There we go. Maybe we have to be, like, completely still when we call her. Just like the, uh, on the ship. Remember that? That was fun, right? Alright, just making sure I have all the... All the land. The lay of the land. We're going the right way. Going this way, guys. Here we go. So, here? On this thing? Found it! You have to be still. That's so dumb. Like, what if we're running and we need, like, a quick getaway? You know? You gotta think about these things, game, game designers. Alright, okay. So, where am I going exactly? Here, maybe? Here's the beach town. Maybe this thing. Look at this. Ah, look where we are now. We can leave at any time, though, right? I hope I didn't just screw so myself. This is where Pharaoh is? Okay, good. There Should it is. Be. I wasn't able to see him when we came to the desert, but I think this is where we can meet him. I hope nothing bad will happen. What if he suddenly attacks us? I can't make any guarantees. I don't think we'll have a say in the matter. 
That just means we need to do our best so nothing bad happens. Carol, are you okay? No, I'm not okay. I should go. I'm a little cold. Pharaoh sure did pick a bleak place to live in, don't you think? They say this area used to be covered in lush greenery. Why did it turn into this rocky desert? Hmm, I don't know that much. Estelle, are you really going to meet him? Even though you could be killed? Yes, I've already made peace with this decision. If I die, I at least die with bunny ears on. Rita, you've been acting a little funny ever since hearing Judy's story on the ship. Do you have a problem with meeting Pharaoh? I just think it'll be hard on her to hear what he has to say. But it's too late to turn back now. We've come this far after all. Yep. So true. Is there no savey save things here? Let me go back really quick. Let me save the game. Let me go to a town first and save. I am not getting killed by Pharaoh if I have to fight him now. Wait a minute. Let's talk to this cow guy over here. Remember him? Remember this guy? Ding dong. Ding dong ding. I'm cows. You can call me K-dubs for short. Howdy doody. You come again, I see. You miss me, eh? No, we just wanted to see what you were up to, really. Oh, so you like me. You really like me. Hey, don't you ever get hot dressed up like that? Hot? Why would I be hot? Isn't that some sort of weirdo fursuit? Oh, don't say that, please. Or something? It just, it makes me feel itchy just looking at you. What do you mean? I am naked. Can't you tell? I am going au naturel. I, uh, er, <laughs> Rita calling out all the furries, I know. It's funny that she's doing that, even though she has cat ears on. Try not to give it too much thought. Now what's today's item de jour, you might ask? Da-dum, 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 dum. It's the trident. Ta-da! Excuse me? What do you mean, ta-da? Are you trying to tell us something? Now, now, no need, to, need, no need to play dumb, Theramone boy. <laughs> Theramone boy. Please. Another item exchange, then? Exactly, Miss Spouncy, so hand it over. Thank ya, thank ya. Round and round we go, where, we'll, where we stop, only I know. Catch! As always, thank ye! <laughs> yep, Mrs. Bouncy. Even though I know he's going to come out, he's still he's still quite startling. So what'll you give us this time? Hmm, what indeed? Here, you can have this. Rice. Well that's garbage. Potato, onion, carrot. There's nothing like a yummy curry in a hot place. I'm going- I'm gonna kill you dead, baby, yeah! So dead. I don't trust this kid. I don't trust him at all. Alright, let's see what synthesis stuff you got for me. Anything new? I still can't trade anything here. I need rubber skin. Yeah, that's all I need pretty much. A lot of things here. A lot of things here, a lot of things here, and a lot of things here. I can get a night shield if I want to. Weapons, oh jeez. Oh, I can't get a stinger. Oh yeah, I can. I might be able to. Good trade, I don't think so. Maybe it was a good trade, I don't know, but... Oh well, doesn't matter. Anyway, where's the inn? I want to go in the inn. I see, so the chief and the others left town this morning. I'm not sure they left the town, but they did spend the night here last night. And I'm fairly sure that their leader was your chief. I see. 
But mister, who was that man just now? Oh, he said something about being a member of a guild called the Hunting Blades, I believe. It seems he got separated from the rest of his guild, though. D did Nan stay here last night? Nan? Chill out, Carol. You can't expect him to know that. Sir, members of that guild were staying in this inn, correct? Yeah, they were here until early this morning. But was there a girl with brown hair traveling with them? Actually, I seem to remember someone like that. Yeah, she looked like she'd been injured somehow. She'd be injured somehow. That must be her wounds from fighting with us. Oh no! You don't know that for sure. Those guys get into fights all the time. Hey Yuri, you think he might be here for the night? Looks like the kid's a mess. Some relaxation would be good for his nerves. You sure it's not just that you're tired and want to rest? Well, well, there's that too. Hmm. Good idea. Let's get some rest. Well, you said it. Nan. Where's cow boy? Can't sleep, huh? Judith, why are you up? It's so late. I was just watching the moon. The moon? You're worried for that girl? Yeah. You're a nice kid, Carol. I've been in so many different guilds, but I ended up doing a cruddy job in all of them and quitting. So all the guilds just gave up on me. But then, Nan. She invited you into her guild? Uh, yeah, but we still haven't made up since we got in that fight. I'm sorry, I'm a member of Brave Vesperia now. I shouldn't be thinking about all this. I don't blame you for it. She's important to you, right? Er, how did you... You wouldn't carry around a picture of her if she wasn't important. You... you knew? I've seen you looking at her picture with that silly look on your face several times now. Oh, I got a friend of mine from the photography guild. I used to belong to take up that picture for me. A little photograph on the sly? N no I mean, he just happened to take it as she was passing by. I mean, I guess it works out to be the same thing. What a naughty boy. But I don't think it's all that bad, really. Really? I, I wonder. Do you think we'll run into her again? I'm not sure. No, I know we will. I have to make up with her. I still have to make up with her. <laughs> Good luck with that. Well, I'm going to go to bed. Good night. Oh, yeah, thanks, Judith. I think that was a good talk. And just like that, it's morning again. Quick little savey save. Should we do the... the pharaoh stuff now? Why not? Let's do the pharaoh stuff now. It'll be a while till we play this game again, so... Mine as well, right? I don't know how long the new visual novel will be, but we'll see. Maybe I'll do one stream of it. Maybe that's the length, just one stream. You never know. All I know is that we're going to meet Pharaoh here now. Well, he doesn't seem to be here. Maybe he's off somewhere taking a nap. What's the name of the visual novel? It is called Kitty Love. No, it's not. It's called Gao Cow Love A Hundred Days. So it's gonna take us a hundred days to complete. Pharaoh? You're here, aren't you? Boy! Put on some freaking clothes! Sorry. Hey, it's chicken. Poison. You appear before me at last. So you are here. Is that how you greet all your guests, Pharaoh? By calling them names? For what reason have you come to me? Surely you are aware that I could end your existence with a mere thought. <laughs> you talk pretty big, don't you? Well, if you really want to fight, I'd hate to disappoint you. Yuri, no! Everyone, please wait! Estelle! Pharaoh, please hear what I have to say. Does death hold no fear for you, little one? For you gaze now into the mouth of death itself. I am afraid, but I'm even <sighs> more afraid of dying without knowing who I really am. It's Chinese, not Japanese. Yeah, I think that is true. 
I remember reading that on the thing. Bellius told me I needed to meet you to learn about my destiny. Maybe the translation's bad, like in Kitty Love. I have to know just what that destiny is. I understand that I am a threat to the Entelikea, but you said that I am a poison to this world. What is this power I have? Just who is the child of the full moon? If it is true that my existence cannot be tolerated, then it's okay if I have to die. But I at least deserve to know why it is I have to die. Please tell me. I beg of you. There was a time when this was a verdant land, sheltered by the blessing of an air crinny. Before I tell you who you are, bunny ears, why? Sorry. So there was an air crinny here. But what happened? Why did it change? What you see are the results of too much air and its aftermath. As to why the air ran rampant, the answer lies with the poison brought by the Child of the Full Moon. Huh? The power of the Child of the Full Moon stimulates the air crane more than any Blastia. Huh? I like this voice he has. It feels weird on, on my ears <laughs> hearing it. Blastia convert air into energy <clears throat> by way of a formula. So if Estelle can use her healing arts without the aid of any Blastia... She must possess a formula in her very being that lets her convert air into energy. Judith was searching for Blastia that used a particular kind of formula. So, this special formula Estelle has must also consume massive amounts of air, which causes the air crenae to become more active and pump out more air than they should. I had hoped my hypothesis would have been wrong. Then... It is as she has said, with each use of her power, the Child of the Full Moon uses far more air than the Blastia. In so doing, the imbalance of air in this world is furthered. For the planet, such an existence can only be called a poison. So you just wipe it out then? Little quick to judge, aren't you, Pharaoh? This problem concerns the entire planet, and she is its cause. To do nothing would be unparalleled folly. If the problem's with Estelle, then it's for us to solve. That's right. We can't let anyone else handle it. The gravity of this situation is beyond your grasp. You don't honestly think that everything's gonna be all sunshine and rainbows if Estelle dies, do you? It would at least eliminate one problem. Pharaoh, at Heliord I stopped myself. And again at Dawngrest I stopped you. What I thought was a Blastia turned out to be a human. Before I realized it, I had lost my way. I never thought this child could be as great a danger as you had said. And due to your confusion, I granted you the time necessary to see things as they are. You found the IP for the Pixelmon server. Cool. Also, hello, Tyler Cat. How are you doing? Welcome to the stream. I haven't seen you in forever. As a result, my sister Belius is now lost to me. Enough. This power will bring only ruin. Hmm, not sure I understand all this, but if her power's the problem, why can't she just not use it? There can be no guarantee she will not try to use the power. That's true. She does have trouble turning a blind eye to things happening around her. Someday she will surely use her power to help someone. However, as long as she keeps that spirit of compassion, she cannot only be seen as harmful. She is not like Ablastia. I know that you can feel the difference. Compassion alone will not save this world. Listen, Pharaoh. I get that you've thought all this through with everybody's best interest in mind, but why doesn't that world have a place for Estelle? It is sometimes necessary to remove a part to save the whole. I don't buy that for a second. What makes you so high and mighty that you're the one to decide who gets cut and who doesn't? We have endured the anxiety of existence for far greater a span than you can conceive. Such words mean nothing from those who call this world home for but a fleeting moment. Pharaoh, please listen. The important thing is finding a way to stop the excessive air, correct? We still have time left to search for such a thing. Judith! And if... If the effects of Estelle's power reach their absolute limit, I will kill her as promised. 
You should have no complaint with this. Hey, Judith, are you serious? I'm sure brave Vesperia will come up with something before that happens, right? What? I... um... Yeah, yeah, of course we will! Well, score one for Judith. So that settles it. If we humans are to blame for Estelle's problem and bringing on the apocalypse, then it's up to us to make things right. If we give it all we've got and still blow it, then you can slow roast us on a grill for all I care. You have changed. If you were still as before... Have I? That is nice to hear. Very well. Be ever mindful, though, that time is fleeting. Ah. Wait! If the formulas are causing the excessive air, then there must have been times when this happened in the past. I mean, the Blastia were a product of an ancient civilization. There exist those who have inherited the sins of the past. If any yet can speak of what occurred in the days of old, it is they. Huh. What do you know? He's gone. Bye-bye. Um, I... Thanks for everything, Yuri. Judith, you too. No problem. But hey. What? It's okay if I have to die? What the hell was that? I'm sorry. I don't want to hear that again. I'm sorry. You heard him. Man, I was really worried there for a while. So you got a daemon ring, Tyler Cat. That's pretty cool. Does it look cool? We were pretty lucky that bruiser was in a mood for conversation. Poor Raven's heart can't handle that sort of stuff anymore. You're pretty gutless for an old man. Sushi? Ooh, delicious. Jeez, Patty, you've really got nerves of steel. If he really wanted to kill Estelle, he'd have attacked us immediately. And that's what I can't figure out. I imagine Pharaoh was conflicted as well. He hid himself from us in the desert to see just what we were made of. Huh. Maybe he wasn't as bad as we thought after all. You might be right. I get the feeling he'd do whatever's necessary when push comes to shove. That sounds like you. Maybe. But what are we gonna do, Yuri? You heard what he said. We're going to fix the problems the air is causing. That's easier said than done. We're pretty much at square one, you know. Mm-hmm. And no one wants to be at square one. There's no doubt that the formulas are related somehow to the air getting used up. We need to find out about the ancient Blastia, and if they went berserk or not. If we had that kind of information, it might give us a clue. Ask those who have inherited the sins of the past about the days of old. Or at least that's what Pharaoh said. The Critia were the ones to invent the Blastia. In other words, we need to ask a Critian who is still familiar with the old stories. Yeah, the Critia are often credited as the inventors of the Blastia. There isn't much left of the Critian city of Timza, though. It'd be a lot easier if there were more cities. The hidden city of Miorzo. It is far older than Timza, and the birthplace of the Critia. The first Blastia also originated there. Really? Well... What do you know? You wouldn't happen to know where this Miorzo might be, would you, darling? Hmm. I've heard that name somewhere. There was a Critian in Ospio. I'm sure they mentioned something about it. Do you think that person might still be there? Well, there's no harm in checking it out. Judith, are you coming with us? No. I should. We still have the issue of the guild to straighten out. So, to Ospio then. Some people call all soft drinks Coke. <laughs> oh no. Oh Estelle, you look so cute. Really? I'm glad. I was worried these clothes wouldn't look good on me. They seem kind of old fashioned. That's what makes them cute. Uh, I wasn't talking about myself. No, it's okay. I was just saying that the clothes are cute, not me. You don't need to be so modest. You're so cute. Mm. Uh, what clothes are they talking about? Oh, the waitress. Okay. Yeah, people call... Some people call all soft drinks Coke. Which is kind of strange, but, you know, oh well. By the way, my favorite type of soda is a Sprite Coke. Or my favorite type of Coke is a Sprite Coke. Yeah, that's what I meant to say. 
Welcome to Annoy P and Makaru time. Hope y'all enjoy. Alright guys, sadly, I gotta end it there for the day. It's been fun, we learned a whole crap ton of info. Can I get a Pepsi Coke? <laughs> yep, that's a thing I've heard many times. Oh, hold that, hold that thought. All that stuff about the balance of the world is pretty hard to take in. Yeah, I hadn't even been outside the capital until just a while ago myself. And now we're here talking about the fate of the world. You never know what life will bring you. But isn't that what makes it interesting? I don't think we can afford to be that relaxed anymore. Estelle doesn't have much time left. What's the harm? It's not as if acting all serious is gonna solve anything. Besides, Estelle will notice if we look all worried. Well, maybe so, but... We won't forget what Pharaoh said. Relax. I know, it's just... Estelle's got it the worst. If we get too down about this, we won't be much help to her. I know you just got here, but that's life. You know my times, you know when I stream. When I, when I start streaming. And hey, I could have ended the stream earlier, but I chose not to because I like this game. There's just something about it I like. It's probably the everything about it that I like. I'm just flying around just in case there's more like scripts or skits or schizophrenias or whatever. That's something I shouldn't joke about. I apologize. Where should we land here? Let's land here. We're gonna save in this town and life will be good. Yeah, see you tomorrow. Uh, Splatoon 2. Back to Splatoon 2, everyone. Hope you guys are ready for more rage and more suffering. You got some new weapons in. Oh my gosh. That's amazing. Alright, yep. Uh, yeah. Hope you guys had fun today. I had fun. This game still remains to be great and amazing, and I love it. Tomorrow, Splatoon 2. Oh, wait, what's this? <gasps> News! Oh, what's new in the Nintendo eShop, guys? Party Games, Nintendo Power Podcast. Tetris 99, Pokemon Let's Go Pikachu Demo, Demo, Awesome P Demo, Car Mechanic, Dragons, How to Train Your Dragons. I'm gonna see that movie. Dungeon Star, Space Lift, Stuff. A Chemco game. I like Chemco games, by the way. Cinders. Degrees of Separation. Ooh. Minesweeper Genius. I will not play that then. Final Fantasy IX. That'll be af next, after our next Hyrule Warriors map. Mega... Bleh, mall. <laughs> I look, a visual novel. Cool. We love visual novels. Hey, look, a visual novel. There's another one there. What do you think? Should I get those? Should I get a, a summer visual novel for us guys? Let me save one more time, just in case I didn't save it the first time. Final Fantasy IX has a bunch of bugs. Ah oh, man. Well, you know what? I'm not gonna let bugs get me down. Remember all the... Remember the one time I lagged out of this game. If it happens in that game, then I'll just fight my way around it. But, thank you all for coming. I'll see you all tomorrow. Get ready for splats and rage and splats and rage. And, uh, take care. Bye-bye!